Γεια σας, καλησπέρα. Good afternoon, my dear friends. I'm Elena and this is Made with Yaya. Today I'm going to make a delicious, very Greek soup. It's called fasulada. It's a bean soup. So yummy, our family loves it, so I'm gonna grab my ingredients and let's get started. Opa! In preparation for the soup, what you need to do is actually soak your beans. Now in this case, I used the white navy beans, but I've used kidney beans, like different ones. They're a little bit bigger, so they might need to boil more, but this seems to be my go-to. It boils perfectly for this delicious Greek soup. So I soaked it in water. Uh, first of all, you wanna make sure that you give them a good wash, rinse them out. Sometimes they have a powdery residue. Then when you put it in your uh, container, you want to just put like a good three to four cups above the beans because then you're going to see in the two hours it's all going to just absorb it and there's going to be almost no water left. Then you put it in your pot. So initially what I've learned through the years is the beans are what take the longest to boil. So I always boil them first on medium heat for about an hour. And this is the stage that we are at right now. We're gonna start adding all the other ingredients. So let's go over to the stove and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. Our beans have softened to a certain point. Now we're going to add one cup of carrots. And it was about three carrots when I was chopping them down, chopping them up. And one cup of onion. And it was a good size onion, medium to a large onion. But again, we want it to be about a cup. The main ingredient in, that we as Greeks love to use in our soups is of course our delicious olive oil. So you put a good half a cup in this. And initially I add two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and two teaspoons of dried oregano. It's a really nice big size uh, soup. From there you can see if you want to add a little bit more but basically, this is the perfect base start for your soup. Now we're gonna let it boil for another half hour. As you can see, our soup is getting super thick, which is exactly what you want it to be. Our last and final ingredient is our tomato sauce. Because I'm doing from fresh tomatoes, I'm going to do a full cup, but Usually, if I'm doing from the actual sauce that I've made, already boiled, I would do about a half a cup. So now we're going to let this also boil for another 15 minutes. Keep in mind, this last stage is the one you really want to watch your soup. As it's thickening, it can very, very easily get stuck to the bottom. So make sure you're in the kitchen, uh, maybe putting a timer every five minutes, come and give it a stir, so that way it doesn't stick to the bottom. And look at that steam, I don't know if you can see it, but the soup turned out so beautiful. Nice and thick, now to give it a try. I know my kids have grown up with this soup, my grandkids love it. Actually, we're all going to be eating together today. So we made a nice big pot. It looks absolutely beautiful. Look at the colors and the smells. Like I always say, oh, these delicious smells. You cannot sense them virtually, unfortunately. You're going to have to make it and try it. But as you can see, I have some fresh bread. Absolutely delicious with the soup. So I will be cutting some of that too later. But for now, let's dig in. Still a little bit warm. Mm. It came out perfectly with these measurements. So try it, my dear friends. I know you and your family will love it. Winter is coming. This is a time for nice, warm, hearty, fill your tummy soups. I'm Elena, and you've been watching Made with Yaya. Opa!